Hey guys, so you're thinking about selling magazines on eBay, you've already listed a magazine on eBay or you've already sold a magazine on eBay and you're wondering how to ship it, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay, so you have your magazine and the first thing you'd want to do is want to protect it. So this is just a regular sheet protector you know, for papers or things like that. And it is a really good magazine protector. And this is also a magazine protector where you just put it inside and then fold it over the top. If you guys check the description, I've left you a link to both types of protectors. And so you just want to make sure that you have it protected because, you know, somebody who bought this wants it in good condition. So we just want to make sure that we reassure them that it's well protected. Now we're going to go ahead and get some cardboard so we can put this magazine in between. Okay, whatever kind of cardboard you're going to use, make sure it's something real stiff, something that the magazine can go in between and it can be protected from, you know, you know what happens in the mail. Okay, so I just took that Amazon box and basically stripped it down to what it was before it was made into a box. And so what I'll do now is I'll just go ahead and stencil the magazine here. Just stencil over it and be able to cut out two sides of this. We're going to make a magazine Oreo sandwich. Okay, so I made my outline here and I'm just going to cut that out. The beauty of it is there's an underneath side. So just make it the same size. Okay, now that we have both sides cut out, we will just take the magazine and like we said before, make an Oreo sandwich out of this. We'll just place it like that. Put this on top. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get some packing tape and just wrap this up real good so it doesn't slide around too much. Just so that this thing does not have a mind of its own and start sliding around so we'll put it like so and wh whoever bought this when they receive it all they'll do is just take a carefully take a scissors or a razor blade and just go and you know Just want to make sure that's firm and tight and there we go you don't hear any sliding and this is going to be ready now to put inside the envelope okay guys so now that this is all packed and ready now we're ready to put this inside of a special envelope that you can get on amazon just made for magazines so i bought a 25 pack of these 10 by 13. Yeah, you just got to make sure you buy a big enough size because you don't want to, you know, have this all ready and it doesn't fit. So this is magazine is perfect for the 10 by 13 envelope. I left you guys a link um, in the description on where you can get these uh, envelopes on Amazon. And let's go ahead and put it inside. Okay, guys, we're all set. We're ready to put this magazine into this envelope. Just be careful you use thin enough cardboard because these envelopes if you get it too thick even that has a tough little time there and then we'll just remove this seal here and wow you see that that thing it's always better to go a little bit bigger than what you you know I think you might have Woo, that one fit like a glove and I'm ready now to put my eBay packing label on there. And this one's good to go. Okay, guys. So this envelope is now ready to ship off to my eBay buyer. Um, just be forewarned that the pack of envelopes came in a pack of 25. I believe it was $16. So just make sure that you're number one selling enough magazines to actually make this purchase worth it. Um, and also that you're, you're selling enough magazines to make the money back from, you know, the supplies here. So that's why I, I might charge a little bit extra on shipping just because you're paying for those protectors, you're paying for the envelopes. 
And for some of you, you might be paying for gas to get to the post office. I don't know how you guys would ship your... If you guys go to the United States Postal Service, you can actually schedule a pickup where tomorrow I'm having this guy just picked up off my front porch. I'll, I'll leave you a link in the description for that too. It's pretty easy. Um, they ask you what your address is, if it's a business, if you have a dog, and then they just allow you to pick which date that you want this thing picked up. If you find that going to the post office is a hassle, so so there you go, guys. For those of you that want to know, how do you ship magazines that people bought from you off of eBay? There it is. So hopefully that was easy enough for you. If you have any questions, throw it down in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer it. Thank you guys so much for watching.